What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Jay Campbell. And I'm Hunter Williams. And we are back making another video. And today's topic is will utilizing testosterone optimization therapy cause your hair to fall out if you are a dude? I don't know if it's going to fall out, Jay. <laughs> my hair is still on my head. It is thinning. I do have androgenic alopecia. It does come from your mom's dad's side of your family, which my grandfather, who I never met, who died before I was born, was a baldy. So I do have that inherited genetic thing. Again, it's called androgenic alopecia. So the answer to this question is it might exacerbate or speed the rate of shedding. And again, if you have a genetic predisposition, it could absolutely cause your hair to fall out or to uh, shed faster than if you're not using therapeutic testosterone. But if you don't have the gene, it's absolutely positively not going to affect hair loss at all, or again, hair growth at all. And as you know, obviously, um, we are we have advanced uh, scientifically with the use of peptides and bioregulators now that if you do have thinning hair like I do, you can use specific angiogenic and DHT inhibiting products that don't cause side effects like actual medical grade DHT inhibitors. Uh, there's botanical stuff out there now, and of course, peptides and bioregulators. And so you can actually preserve your hair because very truthfully, and he knows this, I would not have hair at all um, because again, my genetic predisposition, but because I'm using angiogenic peptides, bioregulators, and also other botanical products, I have decent hair. It's not thick by any stretch of the imagination, but there's enough there that you, you can see I have hair on my head. So, so the answer is it may speed the rate of your hair loss. Uh, again, if you have a genetic predisposition to it, but because we have so many advanced golden age, you know, ergogens, uh, angiogenic agents, red light, medical grade, red light therapy, mitochondrial optimizers, injectable peptides, topical peptides, all these amazing things. Now you can pretty much preserve your hair growth. Yeah. Um, like Jay said, a lot of this is genetic. So fortunately for me, like my grandfather never had his hair fall out up until he, he was even doing chemotherapy before he died and still had his hair come in through chemotherapy, um, which is something you don't want to do, but that's a different topic for a different day. Yeah. Like Jay said, you know, I've been on testosterone therapy for years now. And it's funny enough because I was so hypogonadal before I started testosterone therapy, I actually noticed thicker and fuller hair from being on testosterone therapy because my testosterone levels were optimized. And a lot of that probably had to do with stress. I don't think one thing people talk about enough is how stress will actually accelerate hair loss more so than introducing therapeutic testosterone will. So the old school of thought was that if you introduce testosterone therapy, you're going to increase DHT signaling, which is thereby going to make your hair fall out because the thought was the higher your DHT is, the more your hair is going to fall out. We know for the most part now, a lot of that is true. Um, there is probably some sort of connection there going on. But for the most part, I'd say 70 to 80% of that DHT thesis on hair loss is not true. Um, and I could argue that you are putting yourself more in danger by having low testosterone levels because of cardiac health, metabolic health, and overall like cognition uh, health by not having optimized testosterone yeah. levels. Now, like Jay said, will it accelerate alopecia if you are someone that is pre predisposed to that? Yes. But I would ask you like for long-term health, what's more important right. to you? Is it going to be like having hair? And like Jay said, there's so many technologies now, red light, peptides, and all these different things that we can use to really help increase blood flow to the scalp, which is, you know, a lot of people will go on DHT inhibitors without ever even thinking about blood flow to the scalp. So are you lean? Are you keeping body fat off? Are you doing everything you can to increase blood flow and circulation to the body through using peptides and red light and all these different things. Um, so I think there's just a lot that people will just throw out testosterone. Jay and I were saying before this video, how many men just won't even start testosterone because they're deathly scared of their hair falling out. Yeah. There's millions of guys out it's there insane. that they hear that and they're like, well, I could never do that because I would lose my hair. And that's very important to me, which I get, you know, I don't want to, no one wants to lose their hair, but it's just one of those things. A lot of it is bro myths that have been promulgated and have made their way into mainstream medical practice. And it's not all the way true. Um, hopefully us like putting this out there will help convince well, people. Well, what's also funny about this, like coming from a place of women, you know, cause obviously I talk to my wife about this kind of stuff and you have to, you know, when we talk to women about how much does hair really matter to a woman? Fucking dick, nothing. Like only in a guy's mind does their hair matter. Like my wife and you know, women like my wife, 
they, they, they laugh when they see really, really short guys who have their hair pushed all the way up and moosed up. And it's like, you know, they'll make statements like I'm five, eight, I'm five, eight, I'm five, eight when they're five, five. Right. Cause, because that's what they're saying. That's the subliminal message that you're saying to somebody. And truthfully, women don't give a shit about your hair. It's the same thing with like guys, like with women and their eyelashes. Like, I mean, do we really give a fuck about a woman's eyelashes or their brows or all that shit? No, women do. And women judge other women about that kind of stuff, but guys don't give a shit. Okay. And obviously women don't really care as much about your hair as you think that they care. You know, you've got, you know, really nice hair or locks or a style or whatever. I mean, give me a break. They don't give a shit. At the end of the day, you already said, like, you think having thick locks of hair is more important than being an inflamed dumpster fire of a human being because you have depressed levels of testosterone and obviously resulting inflammation and high levels of visceral body fat and insulin resistance. You just got all your priorities out of order. It's way more important to have optimized levels of testosterone. But again, dude, you know what you know, yeah. and you don't know what you don't know. Right. So it's like a lot of guys are out there walking around with a testosterone deficiency. They have no fucking idea. They're miserable. Their life sucks. They have a low depressed, chronically, libido, stressed. chronically yeah. stressed, full of anxiety. And all of this is related to suppressed hormones. Yeah. But because they don't know where to go, because they don't know how to get evaluated properly, they don't know how to do their lab work. They don't even know how to do the first step. They just walk around and they focus on the physical external things like their clothing like their hair. I mean, all this stuff, it's nonsense, right? Because yeah. again, if you had your physiological health, it would open you up to seeing things and feeling better, seeing things for the way they really are, not being a wishful thinker, but truthfully, just you would have so much more energy and you will be so much more concerned about things that are actually relevant and matter versus the nonsense external BS. Yeah. I didn't know we were going to go this direction, but I just thought to what you were saying, our mind is so powerful. How many guys live in a state of fear because we deal with this all the time. Yeah. Guys are so afraid to start therapeutic testosterone because they've been told this stuff. And when you do that, and it, this is really important for you know the use of testosterone, when you approach things from a state of fear, or it could be peptides too, but when you approach it from a state of fear, you manifest results that are reflective of that fear. This is why the placebo effect has been proven time and time and time and millions of times again, that placebo effect is real. So if you take something thinking that it's going to cause hair loss or gynecomastia or any of these other crazy things that people will often associate with uh, testosterone use, the likelihood that you manifest some sort of side effect or result of that is very high. Whereas if you just love and trust yourself and say, hey, I know this you know, use of therapeutic testosterone is beneficial to me and it's in my highest and best interest for my health and the health and well-being of everyone that's around me and that I take care of and that I'm responsible for, you're going to manifest a better desire. So two people could take the exact same thing and then manifest two different outcomes based on their willingness to receive whatever they're using. Yeah, dude. I mean, that's well said. I mean, I don't really have anything to add. If you are literally out there stressed, suppressed, full of anxiety, fat, inflamed, and you are literally living at rock bottom, get on therapeutic testosterone. Who gives a flying fuck about what happens to your hair? You can always mitigate that after you get on. Yep. That's all I got to say, you know, like love and trust yourself. And then a lot of times too, the biggest symptom of low testosterone is indecisiveness and a lack of assertiveness. Right. You don't have the ability to even make the choice to do something different in your life. So if you're hearing this and you say like, something's got to change, just Get your blood work done, see what it does, and you know you can always come off. But uh, most, as most guys do, out of you know, very few men like start therapeutic testosterone and say, "Oh, I want to go back to my life before." It's that life changing. So I'm Jay Campbell. I'm Hunter Williams. We appreciate and love you guys. We'll talk to you very soon. Peace.